Thank you. It's nice to see ya. We have the technology too. Boy, there is local color wherever you go. I remember it wasn't too long ago I was at Memorial Hall here and uh, it's probably not possible for you to get lost on your way to Memorial Hall, but I sure enough did, and I stopped and asked this guy, I said, can I take this road over to Memorial Hall? And he said, I don't care. <laughs> well, it hit him one morning, it came without warning, he was still in the prime of his life Well, he took to his bed with a terrible feeling As the doctors were rushed to his side Some kind of voodoo curse Some dark aboriginal spell Too malignant to ever reverse Too abstract for the power of science to quell they huddled around him with pills and prescriptions They filled up his head with advice But they left him no cure for the things he was seeing That kept him awake every night There isn't a medicine made to put back the fire in your eyes Nobody knows why it kills us to compromise there isn't a medicine made to put back the fire in your eyes. Nobody knows why it kills us to compromise. Is it chemical, spiritual, emotional, material, the dye that we use on our head? The creamer in coffee that lowers our resistance to something unseen in the air. How can the soul stand up, subjected to all this disease? From the day we drop dead on the street, to the prickly rash we develop on the soles of our feet. No talking in tongues, no laying on of hands, no soaking the body in ice. Can ever replenish the vitamins lacking that keep us on edge all our lives. There isn't a medicine made to put back the fire in your eyes. Nobody knows why it kills us to compromise. There isn't a medicine made to put back the fire in your eyes. Nobody knows why it kills us to compromise. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what a treat it is to be here. This is nice. And it didn't rain. And it's going to cool off. It was hotter than the inside of a cow for a little while, but now it's kind of, you know. This is my It Is Not Going to Rain song. I recorded it about, uh, let's see, I've been saying 18 years ago for about four years, so, you know, <clears throat> a long time ago. And then a group called the Judds got a hold of it, and they made a lot of money, but I don't care. There's a bird in my tree Singing sad autumn melodies There's an old summer breeze blowing away There's a cloud in my sky There's a girl who's been on my mind There's a tear in my eyes I think it could rain no. 
drops of water, drops of water. background singers that's you I think they go drop so water drop so water drop so water drop so water evidently the rest of you don't know that the name of the song is drop so water drop so water. if a star falls tonight let it fall and with all your might, make a wish that there won't be any rain in your life. Drop some water, drop some water, drop some water. Falling down around my feet, nothing but the rain. It fades out on the record, you know. Thank you. Well, now I had a request to do this song, this next song. This was my mom's favorite song. It's called the bristlecone pine, and it's about the bristlecone pine, this tree that is uh, among the oldest known living plant species, if a tree is a plant. And of them, I guess the oldest known is over 4,000 years old. Continue to burn 
As long as the sun does continue to shine Down on the limbs of the bristle To sleep at the feet of the bristlecone pine To sleep at the feet of the bristlecone Thank you. Just a little bit more vocal. A good idea for a country song? A country song? You've got to have those S's when you say that. Song, country song. Would be a song called, it's a female vocal. She's singing, if I'd have shot him sooner, I'd be out by now. <laughs> you can write that yourself if you'd like. You know when it goes something like, if I'd have shot him sooner. And you can take it from there. You got it. Yeah, I started playing guitar when I was 13 years old. And... Uh, First thing I learned was uh, with one finger, actually. And then uh, I picked up an electric guitar, and I played a lot of uh, And then my brother told me about the four strings in the middle. Because you could play if you want to. <laughs> Meanwhile, my dad's at home singing. You're cheating, huh? You know those beautiful old Hank Williams tunes? That I'm so lonesome I could cry. And we were duty bound to hate them as young teenage boys back in those days. We hated it. And just about the time I got lucky and started getting some songs on the country charts, uh, my dad was no longer listening to country music. My favorite quote of his is, is he says, ah, it's just a bunch of guys that sing through their nose by ear. But you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what the format is, actually. It's uh, on the radio. I don't know about you, but there aren't that many songs on the radio that I dearly love anymore. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> when I was younger, there were more, so maybe it's, maybe it's me, you know. Well, there's my ride. Thanks. <laughs> See you guys. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just one of your cars. It's okay. But you know, uh, country music is filled with uh, torpor and ennui. I don't know what those words mean, really. <clears throat> but songs like, If you think you've reached the bottom, just look down. If you think I'm gonna sing a song, you're right, I am. About how up tight I am. Since you've been gone, I got the blues. I don't know what else to do. But maybe one of these days I'll find a garbage can that's big enough. 
clean up and throw myself away. If you think I'm gonna say you're wrong, you're right. I am. About how uptight I am. Since you've been gone, I got the blues. I don't know what else to do. But maybe one of these days I'll find a garbage can that's big enough. Throw myself away Guitar solo Throw myself away Thank you Throw myself away And then they'll haul me to the dump Throw me on some heap and in a week, well, I'll smell so bad that anyone coming to see me probably have to hold his nose. But you'll come out like you always do, smelling like a rose. I better do a country song now. I what? Thank you. Thank you. I made it. I made it. Yeah. Well, I sure felt old this morning. I don't know if that just happens or what. August 8th, 1944, pre-lottery for Vietnam and uh, post-war, well, kind of a baby boom, World War II kid, you know. Some of you guys are going, let's see, 44, 54, 60, 104. <laughs> Greatest cowboy it's ever been. And when he lays his hands upon the ponies, they shudder with an understanding skin. And he says, Ponies, without ponies. Have not come 
music of the 40s for uh, 50 years now. <laughs> I, I have just loved it. And, uh, but I don't know why it is. It's the, the bridges to some of those songs that get awfully schmaltzy to me. Too many embers and forever and, you know. But anyway, so I wrote this little uh, spoof. So, you make me feel well, I don't know, it's not your face that I recall, what I love most of all, I don't remember now, but your lips are so blasé, your way with words, well, how you say, am I in love or just? So close and yet so well. Love your hair. That lavender rinse looks just great. Pardon me if I stare. Darling, did the carpet have to match the drapes? Say, would you like a mint? I'm hoping you might take the hint I'm beginning to squint And I fear that you're in for the kill You know you almost ate the cake So close to heaven up here on cloud eight Cause you make me feel so Yeah, you make me feel so So you make me feel so so low. Would I like to see more of you? Why? Yes. Well, yes and no. Well, no. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, this is great. <laughs> and one of the strangest flat picks I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'll, uh, I will keep these, but I'll put them down for now. Thank you very much, sweetie. Wow, it wasn't very long ago I was recognized once as Paul Williams, which was the biggest thrill of my life. And look what's happened. Oh, I'm going to do another 40 song as long as I do a spoof. I, you know, better cover my tracks here. <laughs> Wrote this song with Peter McCann, a fellow who lives in Nashville, a wonderful writer. It's not a real 40s song, it's like a fake 40s song, so. Not that old. I got a birthday card that said 54, you don't look 54. When you open it up and it says, anymore. 
You're supposed well, to get those in, the, in your 40s. You get all those virility jokes, you know, all those things. But I'm past that now. I, I need geezer stuff, you know. Like the two guys that are sitting there, one says, Tell me, buddy, are you getting any on the side? And his friend says, It's been so long, I didn't know they moved. <clears throat> Just a little vaudeville for you there. Actually, he goes on to say, Really, the best part of my day now is just a good movement. If I have a good, and I do, every day, regular as a clock, 7.45 every morning, I have a good, only trouble is I don't get out of bed till 8.15. <laughs> Which is when you find out who your friends are. Just like we will be. Tried to level with you, eye to eye. Knew I'd find the devil in you by and by. But I don't really wanna be the last one singing the blues. And when it comes to fiction, you're the best I've met. All the little lies are gonna get you, yeah. Cause I don't really wanna be the last one. You say that you love me If you really love me Then why do you treat me this way The game is that you're gone again It's off and then it's on again well, Someday I just won't play If all I do is catch you in the same old line I'll just have to look at you with different eyes cause I don't really want to be the last one to sing blue through the mountains of Illinois. So. Actually, it's about driving from Kingsport, Tennessee to Baltimore. And those aren't the highest mountains in the world, but uh, some of the worst roads. <laughs> and because it's about driving your tractor trailer through the mountains, it was originally called Up Too Slow, Down Too Fast. But the record company look, took one look at that title and they said, uh, no. No. So now it's called Roller Coaster Run. I 
ride a roller coaster up and down an asphalt track. Runs from Kingsport, Tennessee to Baltimore and back. And I drive the Blue Ridge Mountains in an 18 year old truck. Takes a little cheating and it takes a little love. And it's up too slow, it's down too fast. When will I be done? And it chills high and the last on this roller coaster. About our roller coaster life. Seems to me when going up, the law should be obeyed. But you got to come down fly if you want to make the grade. It's up to stove, it's down to songs and bring a friend of mine out here. Um, um, what should I do? Oh, I know what I'll do. <coughs> I have two boys. They're getting older, too. They have little beards and canes now that they walk around with. And uh, my 18-year-old goes to college in about a week in my old car. And my 15-year-old I couldn't begin to tell you what he's going to do next. He wants to be 20. He's the one who uh, had his hair all spiked up in school. And he looked like a Statue of Liberty as seen from the side, you know. And they said that was disconcerting. So they made him cut it. And it, as a reaction, he cut it, shaved it all off in the middle. So he had sort of the opposite of a mohawk and then grew the sides out and dyed it green and looked kind of like a little undersea sort of thing for a while. And that wasn't disconcerting. So then, you know, he got a nose ring, uh, not on the side, in the middle with a little bead on it that wiggles, and that was disconcerting to me. But he went ahead and did that, and having gotten away with all that, next thing I know there were sort of hooks and stuff. And I did tell him, I said, Leo, it looks like you fell in a tackle box. And, uh, and then we weren't talking for a while. He's at that age where you can either talk to him or look at him, but not both. It's just a little too much for him, a little too confrontational. You can talk through the door, you know, tell him his, his dinner's ready. I do remember asking Stan when he was about 14, Stan's the 18-year-old, and I said, hey, Stan, do you know what you want for breakfast? And he got this look on his face and he said, no, what? <laughs> Just to let you know who you're dealing with there. <laughs> there aren't any rites of passage anymore for kids, I think. Except the Boy Scouts, maybe church or something for some people. <clears throat> so my son, in order to prove his manhood, called a 900 number ordered a video and had it sent to the house. Incidentally, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. <laughs> it, 
Yeah, and he couldn't watch it at home. They sent cash through the mail, him and a couple of buddies. Couldn't watch it at home, of course. So while the neighbors were at church, <laughs> he somehow got in their house and was watching this on TV. And the way this all got back to me was that they came home early or something and walked in on him watching this thing on television. There wasn't a whole lot of punishment required. We talked about uh, pornography. Yes, we did. And we talked about breaking and entering, too. But the best, my favorite part of that whole experience was the mom. Now, this is in Nashville, too. And the mom's saying, is this going to get in the papers? And I said, no, I can't imagine. And then I said, how bad was the video? And she got this look, and she said, there was no storyline at all. And I figure that means she watched the whole thing. More than once. You know. I shouldn't tell stories on my kids. I shouldn't tell the truth either on my kids. <clears throat> this is from an album uh, of mine, a CD called uh, Departure. The song is called Dirty Hands, Dirty Faces. Dirty hands, dirty faces, what am I going to do about you? You've been out playing in those forbidden places, so run along and wash them up. Your supper's getting cool. Hurry up, slow down. How can you be so clumsy? Didn't you see it? It was standing right there. Go on now, answer me before I get angry. And go to your room and shut the door and see if I can. Yes, but someday when we're standing eye to eye. Your trucks and your guns are all behind Well, I hope you'll be more kind And understanding with your daddy Than I was with mine The day to day, it slips away You're in diapers and then you're dancing And the music that you hear is not for me Sometimes I forget about the things that really matter Holding tighter, you're running faster As you struggle to be free Yes, but someday When we're standing eye to eye And your trucks and your guns are all behind I hope you'll be more kind and understanding with your daddy than I was with mine. So I'm your way, my little one. You got some dreams to find. Still, I hope you'll be more kind. seems to be creeping into my set. Sorry about the yodeling. It just kind of happens every now and then. This is not my real job, by the way, you know. Oh, no, I could be making five, six grand a year just teaching school. In the middle of late 
last night I was sitting on a curb Didn't know what to about but something had me quite disturbed The street sweeper comes whistling by and he's bouncing every step Seems strange how good he felt So I asked him while he swept He said it's my job to be cleaning up this mess And that's the best reason to go for me It's my job to be better than the rest And that makes the day for me Got an uncle that owns a bank He's a self-made millionaire Never had anyone to thank Never had no one to care he always seemed kind of sad to me, so I asked him why that was. He told me it's because in my contract there's a clause that says it's my job to be worried half to death, and that's the thing people respect in me. It's my job, and without it I'd be less than what I expect to be. I've been lazy most all my life, singing songs and sleeping late. Any manual labor I've done is purely by mistake. If street sweepers can smile, then I've got no right to feel upset. Sometimes I still forget till the lights come on and the stage is set and the song hits home and you feel. That's where it is my job to be different from the rest And that's the best reason to go for me It's my job to be better than the rest And that's a tough break for me It's my job to be cleaning up this mess And that's the best reason to go for me It's my job to be different from the rest And that makes the day Thank you very much. Are you back there? Please welcome Suzanne Sherwin to the stage. This is my sweetie. Just a touch in the monitor, Kurt. Just a little bit. Life after you 
There's way too many love songs out there, and they all say, I love you, I, I love you, I love you, I love you, you know. And uh, then it doesn't work out, and the rest of the songs say, no way in hell, absolutely not, never again, couldn't possibly work out. And what we need are, like, big person love songs that say stuff like, oh, maybe. <laughs> and I don't know, does this come close to that? I mean, it's called the House of Cards.
Suzanne Sherwin. I'm going to do one more song and take a short break. I'm going to do one song and uh, take a little break, because that's what they do, you know, and uh, change my shirt and stuff. As Karen mentioned, I do have some uh, CDs available. I have a recent one. I can't say new one anymore. one called Then and Now, which is out now, and I just happen to have several thousand <laughs> of them. <laughs> so I don't know how we'll do this. Maybe, I tell you, let's, uh, if anybody's interested after the show, that's when we'll do it, not during the break. That'd be cool. So, uh, what should I do? What should I do? I'll do this. Half of my blood is Cain's blood. Half of my blood is Abel. One eye looks to heaven. One eye looks for trouble. Half of my blood is Cain's blood. Half of my blood is Abel. One eye looks to heaven. Another deep in my fantasy 
I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Thank you. The life, ain't this the life? Ain't this the life dealers lying underneath the shady old tree? I thought I heard a little birdie singing to me. Say, ain't these the sticks? And ain't these the bucks? And ain't this the life dealers? Ain't this the rich? Ain't this the rich? Ain't this the Ritz Hotel? Nobody hotel us what to do. I made that up. So I'll tell me, you tell you. And ain't any stitch, and ain't any bitch, and ain't this the Ritz Hotel? After you, my dear Alphonse. No, after you, my dear Gaston. No, after you, my dear no, after you, my dear Gaston. No, after you, my dear Alvance. No, after you, my dear Gaston. Well, if you insist, my dear Alvance. Certainly do, my dear Gaston. I certainly do. Ain't this the chairs? Ain't this the chairs? Chez Louis, where you got the brains, I got the looks. We'll both be pals forever in life, dealer. And ain't it a stitch? And ain't it a bitch? And ain't this the life, dealer?
as if waiting for somebody to arrive. And so now the whole wide world has dwindled down to a single wicker chair on Ocean Drive. Million dollar baby. correct of course to be recovering from something these days just about anything really potato chips for me and uh, I'm also a recovering Catholic they say you get better but you never get well uh, and I've always thought that uh, televangelists are like the professional wrestlers of organized religion you know they go in first. They're like the Green Berets, you know. And this song somehow manages to uh, com uh, compare the uh, Ayatollah with uh, Jerry Falwell, but uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. on TV He makes it clear Sets his sights on saving me From myself He's got the proof What he wants for me is best It's in the book if I agree, I will be blessed. Well, I don't agree. And glory be, he's coming after me. And he's got a Bible in his hand. And he's mad as hell. You see, you can tell. I am a devil masquerading as a man. Does it in the name of God? 
Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'll play a, an instrumental for you. It's a song Leo Kotke and I wrote together. Uh, it's called Mona Ray. Just, uh, just your luck, you're going to hear half of a duet tonight. We might still, the guitar just might be a, a hair hot up, up here. Kurt, if you would, just a little bit. I asked him why he chose the name Mona Ray, and he just said it was the prettiest name he'd ever heard. So there you go. He's an amazing person. He used to show up at my door at uh, four in the morning in his, uh, uh, he had a, Herman Gia convertible with the top down. This is in Minnesota in February. In his bathrobe with a bottle of Jack Daniels in one hand and a guitar with no case in the other hand. And he'd be at my door and he'd say, Wanna play? And I'd say, Yes, I do. We also did a ski movie together one time. It was 20 minutes long. And there was no narrative in the movie, so they had just wanted some music. We did 20 minutes solid of music for this thing. And we were looking for, we did it on my little four track at home. And we were looking for this sound, like this big sort of canyon sound. And I said, well, I got a reverb, you know, we can make things kind of go. And, and he said, uh, you got a phone book? And I said, yeah, the Minneapolis phone book's pretty big. And he said, can we get it wet? I said, yeah. So he took my phone booth and stuck it in the toilet, got it all wet and laid it on my kitchen floor and took a broom and he went whack. Nah. I had this pond growing out of everything. Okay.
Thank you. I've had a couple requests. There's a lot of 90 up here, I think.
Oh, thank you. That's a Jackson Brown song. I'm going to do another song and bring Suzanne out here. This is a working man's song for you. I have, uh, I've read about work. <laughs> company man. Welcome Suzanne Sherwin back out here, if you would. Okay. Very tightly planned show, as you can tell. Forever and forever 
love you whenever we're together, love you when we're apart. And when at last I find you, your song will fill the air. Sing it loud so I can hear you. Make it It's your birthday. Okay. Birthday. Would you do Paper Moon for me? Okay. All right. She winces. Okay. I was born too late for the 40s and I never got over it. <laughs> we would have been great back then. We would have been great. Well, I wasn't born too late and I never got over that. <laughs> Almost. Say it's only a paper moon Shining over a cardboard sea But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Say it's only a canvas sky Shining over a muslin tree But it wouldn't be Just as phony as it can be But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Without your love it's a honky-tonk parade Without your love It's a melody played In a penny arcade It's a Barnum and Bailey world Just as phony as it can be But Thank you.
Suzanne Sherwin. a typical love song. Boy meets girl, they fall in love. Boy leaves girl, girl kills boy. I don't pick up the mail. I don't pick up the phone. I don't answer the door. No. I'd assume I just keep the lights down I don't live in these rooms I just rattle around I'm just a ghost in this house I'm just a shadow upon these walls are great. I'll, as I have said before, and you've taken me up on it, I'll come back and sing for you any time. Thank you. Mm, is there anything you'd like to hear? I was just taking a survey. <laughs> okay. 
let it be. South Pacific. <laughs> I enjoy being a girl. I am proud that my silhouette is pretty. No, we won't do that. Well, if Lyle Lovett can do Stand By Your Man, you know, I think I could do I enjoy being a girl. Well, or not. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll do this. Just to dedicate this song to every woman who'd ever wanted to do whatever it was she wanted to do, whether it was open that uh, espresso cart business in the mall, or go back to college, or have those two girls, or you know whatever it was. But maybe somebody else in her life was a little uh, possessive or jealous or proud or I don't know, scared or something to say that that was a good idea. And so, of course, every time I'd make the dedication, it'd get real quiet. So I don't anymore. <laughs> but it's got to be in tune. Well, he asked her, what gifts can I bring? Very much. Do 
you guys have been wonderful. But I gotta leave these photographs in memory. I gotta get back outside and face the day. Cause whenever I get on that train, memories, Lord, how I seem to slip away. I see Christmas scenes and summer lawns and roses, 1956 and 65. Back when we were all so young and happy, and living in the best years of our lives. Every move I made Down the line Across the dusty stages I got 30 years Of marching on parade I see Christmas scenes Of Uncle Ben and Edie Yeah, 1956 and 65 Back when we were all so young And happy And living in the best years Of our lives Someone said that time runs like a freight train Well, I believe the time is standing fast And I'm on the bow of my own vessel And I'm sailing through the waters of my past And everyone I've ever known and Everything I've ever dared to try is floating on the ocean of my memory, leaving me living in the best years of my life. And I gotta leave these photographs in memory. Gotta get back outside and face the day. Cause whenever I get on that train to memories, Lord, how I seem to slip away. I see Christmas scenes and summer lawns and roses, 1956 and 65. Back when we were all so young and happy and living in the best years of our lives. Thank you. Thanks to Karen and Bill Howard. Thank you all. Thank you, good evening, and welcome to the show. <laughs> Is there a moon out yet? Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> My friend John Denver used to say, I, I worked with him for a while, a long time ago, in a group called the Mitchell Trio. It used to be the Chad Mitchell Trio, and we were a the Mitchell Trio for a couple years. But he would come out and say, that's just a little game we play called Run Back and Touch the Wall and see if you can make it back before they stop clapping. Now, Kurt, I need just to hear more guitar in the monitors. Now, I realize what I'm putting you through here, but thank you. Oh, I know what I'll do. I do know what it is. I'll do. It is tough because, you know, there's nobody to check with when you're all by yourself. I have my little set list written down here, but I lately can't seem to get far enough away from the damn thing. <laughs> so I just kind of, you know. <laughs> oh. 
Fell used to play around here. His name is Tom Bishop. He wrote this song. Fare thee well, you midnight companions. The night will pass no matter what we do. All we did was paint the ceiling blue. Don't look for love, cause love looks for you. Regards to all my long lost relations. Aren't some over long before they're through? simple and it's sad but it's true so don't look for love love looks for you and it will leave you standing stranded like an outlaw make you wild and wasted on his tree leave you riled and restless as you stumble through the night and it'll throw away the key the day locks you so goodbye to all my eager expectations The chips that fell were far between few One and one don't always get you two No, it don't, so don't look for love Love looks for you Thank you so much. 